Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here, because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier Senor Escuela? Is Javier to see? No sé, senor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio. Gustavo Cohn, uh, Ryan the Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. You can take the train with me or ride yourself. Makes no odds to me. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? that some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. You rest. Don't worry about me. I'm too old for sleep. I'll wake you when we get there. Come on, horses are over here. Come on, first stop, I'll met the Darrow. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl, anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? All right, let's find this Carlos guy.
Carlos. Si. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. Hope you're ready for this. Tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tu cerdo. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. That's our cue. The entrance is down this way. Where's my cover, Martin? This is gonna be one hell of a mess. Follow me. Keep it. the door open. You keep guard. There'll be more on the way. What the hell? goes Come on boy poor girl's barely alive Right let's see if we can all get out of here in one piece
Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on! Let's go before any more of them show up. Yeah! We need to push forward. Let's go! He's coming. I don't want to wait longer than we need to. Oh, there. There he is. Talk about cutting it fine. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Gasquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Uh, yeah. 